What's going on, everyone? This is Christian Duke from strengthaddicts.com and the Iron Duke subforums at rxmuscle.com. As you can see, I'm in my car. My voice is a little raspy. I've been talking to people all day on the phone. My hope is I'll put up this video, tag enough folks, phone will stop ringing. At least that's the hope. There is a new federation out. It's called MPC Global. There's no affiliation to the MPC or the IFBB. It was apparently founded by Lee Thompson. Never heard anything but good things about the man. Great judge, great voice in the MPC. They got a video out with an audio introduction by Kai Green. I don't know if there's any affiliation there. I've always known Kai to be very protective over his photos and his videos, so I'm assuming there's some kind of association. I watched the video, very well-intentioned, a lot of great promises, but when the rubber meets the road, I don't know if Mr. Thompson's going to be able to keep with all these promises. You know, I've been involved with bodybuilding as a fan, as a writer, as a videographer for the last 15 years. I saw the PDI 10 years ago. I heard all their promises about, oh, we're going to pay for your hotels and your airfare and your food and we're going to start a pension plan and you're going to have health insurance and your blood work every month will be checked by a physician and this and that. The PDI was around for three shows, barely a year, an NOC in New York City, an NOC in Britain, and an unheard of show in Scandinavia. So the reality of the matter is a lot of promises, but the few guys that you know, jumped ship and went over there, they didn't have a pot to piss in when Wayne D'Amelio said this was over. Uh, 15 years before that, the WBF, yeah, they did pay their guys, but all it took was one steroid scandal. They were tested. The physiques looked like shit. Vince McMahon was like, well, see you later, bodybuilding. I'm going back to wrestling where the money's at. Those guys really didn't have a pot to piss in. So all I'm saying, guys, is, you know, there's a lot of good promises. I think it's real cool that he's, you know, that Lee is saying that you know, if uh, they click on your pictures, you're going to get revenue, and it's great that, you know, if they have you wear MPC Global attire, you're going to get money for that, too. But that's just promises. You don't know if in a year or two they're even going to be around. Aside from that, you should be loyal for all the right reasons. Let me, let me explain what I mean by that. I don't want people to stay with the MPC and the IFBB out of fear. Nobody should stay anywhere out of fear. But the reality of the matter is if you want the money, if you want the fame, but most importantly, if you want the respect, you're going to compete with the best in the world. You know, take the WBF. Uh, 91, Gary Stridham won the uh, Grand Prix. 92 won the Grand Prix. Do you think anybody in the world ever held Gary Stridham up to the level of Lee Haney or Dorian Yates? Absolutely not. You think anybody uh, thought of uh, Lee Priest as a top bodybuilder when he won those NOCs or when he won the NABA universe? No, the top bodybuilder is Mr. Olympia. Uh, whether it's bodybuilding, men's physique, women's physique, figure, fitness, whatever, bikini, all those divisions, women's bodybuilding, it's all at the Olympia. And the reality of the matter is you go to another federation, you could be Mr. Jupiter, Mr. Mars, Mr. Saturn, and you ain't Mr. Olympia, you're not the best. Now, aside from that, aside from that, understand this. There's not going to be any profit to share if there's not great talent. No company is going to put money into a show with second and third tier athletes. Ain't going to happen. No magazine is going to want to cover it. You're not going to make any money off photo clicks if no one's clicking them. Because if they're not on magazines and they're not on big websites, I mean, is Muscular Development going to cover your shows? Is RX Muscle going to cover your shows? Will MPC News Online cover your shows? Give me a break. Will Flex Online be there? Who's going to cover your shows? If there's no coverage, uh, if there's no big uh, sponsors, uh, you know, if you're not selling tickets, yeah, it's great. Kai Green, yeah, he's like the, the big thing right now. You know, there's a lot of interest with him, you know, because he didn't sign his contract and because a lot of people are saying Kai was banned from the show, which he wasn't, banned from the expo, which he wasn't, not allowed to compete, which isn't true. He could have enrolled in the show, signed his contract as late as September 10th. Dave Palumbo is saying apparently that the, the day after he made that crying video, he could have called Robin Chang and gotten into the show. The reality of the matter is, Kai Green, if, if this was all a big, you know, media blackout, if this was all planned and staged to make the IFPB look bad, well, geez, I mean, if Lee Priest is banned for life, I think Kai Green is a good candidate for that as well. But the reality of the matter is, is that I just want people to show some restraint. You know, if you're a top level MPC guy, if you're top 10 or even bigger, top five in your class at a junior Nats or junior USAs or even bigger than that, Nationals or Team Universe or North Americans, I would hate to see you throw away everything you've worked so hard for to go join a federation that's brand new, making a lot of promises that who knows if they can keep. Listen, there is not a doubt in my mind that they're well-intentioned. There isn't a doubt in my mind that they really want to keep these promises. But I just don't think, you know, like I said before, when the rubber hits the road, I don't think if they can actually do it. I just don't think so. Aside from that, the MPC and the IFBB are listening to the competitors and listening to the fans. My gosh, they're going to roll out a brand new division next year, Classic Men's Physique. Bring back the bodies of the 70s and the 80s. They're listening. AMI every year is increasing the prize money. Last year, Mr. Olympia won $275,000. That's amazing. So 
the reality of the matter is, you know, you know, these organizations, the NPC and the IFBB, they are listening. They are trying to implement these changes. But when you're the top dog, you can't just implement something, you know, overnight. It takes time. But they're doing it. And if you really want to make it better, then you stick around and you write letters to the judges and the officials and to Jim Manning. They'll always listen to you. But the reality of the matter is, is that there are people that hate the NPC and hate the IFBB. It might be sour grapes. It might be preconceived notions. It doesn't matter what it is. They just hate these organizations. Reasoning with them is akin to talking into a dead phone. You might as well save your breath. All I'm saying, guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, everybody, is show some loyalty. You know, wait. Be pragmatic. Talk to your coaches. Talk to your sponsors. Talk to your loved ones. Don't just make a rash decision. And something else. If you post something on your wall from this organization, if you like it, if you comment, you're basically telling everybody you're not loyal to the NPC and you're not loyal to the IFBB. You know what I mean? If I see that you like this or I see that you comment or I see that you share this and give them publicity on your wall, it looks to me like you're not loyal. It looks to me like you're questioning the IFBB and the NPC. It looks to me like you're someone that might jump ship, someone that might be at that meeting on November 8th on Venice Beach. And if you're one of those people, then honestly, I really don't want anything to do with you. You know, I know of a lot of great people on Facebook that are working with the NPC Global. And I respect them for whatever they're doing. But I'm not a bandwagon person. And I'll defy everybody on Facebook, everybody on YouTube. And I don't care if I'm the only person taking a stand because right now, I'm the only person taking a stand. And I just think that their launch, there's no coincidence about their launch. The whole MPC IFBB apparatus is in Las Vegas for the Mr. Olympia. This is a perfect time to shoot these videos because there won't be a response. But guess what? The Iron Duke, Christian Duke from strengthaddicts.com, he's going to give you.